Okay. Oh. Yeah, that's not that bad. Not that bad. Yeah, I'm on the floor in my room. Where else you gonna film? Half an hour after midnight. What else is going on? I, pff, seriously. Anyway, how you doing, everybody? Uh, I've been in a quarantine like many of you for a few weeks now, and uh, I'm slightly getting mad. But it was time for me to do a little update on my uh, monitor because I'm using one which is quite old school, let's put it this way. It doesn't do the job anymore. And since I'm moving home and I close my photo studio, I have to do the best of what I can to do my work, which is not that much like in uh, normal days, but hey, life's going on and uh, things keep happening. So I needed a little upgrade. And after a week of trying to find the best solution, I think I found it. I'm not sure yet because I've not tried yet what I'm about to show you. But yes, I put myself in a situation of uh, limiting the budget which I have to buy a new monitor and I decide to stick to the 200 uh, pound mark. And it's been a hard time to find something good after watching uh, reviews for one week and uh, reading lots of uh, comments and everything about different monitors and trying to find the best what I can do in a 200 pounds uh, I finally I think I found it okay I went a little bit over just with 13 quid over but hey it's not that much difference so I kind of stick to the plan to be in the 200 pounds and let me show you what I have but let's roll the intro first <laughs> So yeah, let's open it and see what's gonna happen. My proper kitchen knife. Very, very strong knife. Anyway, doesn't matter, it's small. So, put this on the side and see what we have in the box. Which way should I put it? This way, probably. Let's see if we can take it out. So yeah, um, I don't know what kind of monitors you're using guys and um, if it's uh, something which you're looking to buy and uh, you have a small budget like me at the moment I think maybe it's a good idea to try this one um, I'm gonna have a look at uh, uh, the performance and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good for the price but who knows, who knows, 24 inch, 60.5 centimeters so it's 2560 pixels by 1440. It's a cut and come ready. So 100% sRGB. Power 8B, which is not that bad. Uh, okay, tilt and going up and down and all these things. And uh, man, how I'm gonna open that? It's not moving. Right, let's see. If I can do, right, we're gonna flip the box. Sorry, I'm going out of frame, but I can't figure out how better to do it. So we have some cables going out. I'm happy it's coming with all the cables, by the way. That's a very good plus. Thank you, Ben, for doing all this nice. Come on, man. Right, before I take it out, let's see what, what we have here. All the installations, CDs, cables, sorry you're looking on top of my hat. Yeah, I'm wearing a hat because all barbers it's close, so no haircuts. So we have this nice individual calibration report, okay? Let's see what we, what we have here. Anything else inside? No. Right, gamut, sRGB, gamma curve, so as you can see it's coming factory calibrated and it's everything on the report here. Online factory calibration report, fantastic. You have the VGA cable, power supply, you have the 
DVA cable, you have the 3.5 jack and what is that? Oh, USB, okay. I don't know what's that key, we'll see. The question is how I'm gonna take this out of the box. Seriously, it's not moving. Oh, there we go. It's coming. All right, this is the stunt. Ooh, 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 ooh. Right. Lovely. Really nice package. So we have a beautiful aluminium stamp. It's actually fantastic. It's feel really good and it's actually really heavy. So it's quite promising. I like good stamps for monitors. I like it to be nice and steady. So let's see what we there we go, we have the main stand going up and down, that's a good thing. Ooh, that's a strong spring action. Right, I presume that's a cable management, yeah. And now it's the bad boy coming. Wow. Okay, that's one way to open it. Wow, wow, wow. Energy B. Alright. How much this could affect my energy bills? I don't think it's that bad. Right, let's see what we have in here. Apparently, you just proper need to slide it. One thing which is kind of a concern me, uh, I'm not planning to to do any monitor stands at the moment because I want to buy one more hopefully soon so I can have two uh, because the old one I'm planning to put here in the small room where I'm recording videos for my other channel so I can watch myself yeah I have another channel which it's different I'll, I'll let you know but it's it's all related to mixology because that's what I've been doing for over 20 years uh, so if you like cocktails I'll let you know later on Right, I presume it's just putting it here and maybe just clip. Yeah, but then let's see what we have. It's a heavy monitor, by the way. I'm, I'm quite impressed so far for the 200 pound. I'm really impressed with the. Now we gotta get this baby going inside somehow. I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, so it's not just uh, like most of the monitors, you know, you clip the stand and uh, just clip it down and that's it, or have a small button or something. This one it's actually having a lockable stand. So basically, there's an arrow here. Is there another arrow inside? Oh yeah, so there's two arrows which need to match. So let's see if I can match them. And then you s slip it this way. And there you go. That's when it's supposed to lock probably, yeah? And find yeah, open and lock. Oh, that's a good thing. That's actually a good thing. A little bit... A little bit tough to... I expect to just lock down. Oh yeah, it is. Actually, yeah. It's locked down and then you tidy up, put it down and you're ready to go. And that's... Oh my gosh. That's a heavy thing. Too much garbage here. No. Right, so what you have. The reason I bought it is because first of all you have this, uh, you can go left and right, you can go up and down and obviously put it down if you want to be down, put it high up. That's good for me because I have my laptop and this is gonna be obviously my working monitor. So 
I don't see a way to put this on the stand. I don't know, inside there's a small screw, so I presume. Actually, let me just check. Yes, there is a small screw, so let's see. Can you see him? Okay, so I presume these small screws, I can remove them and actually put the monitor on a stand in the future. If I get second one, so I can have them both on the moving hydraulic stands. That's brilliant, right, let's switch it on. I want to switch it on. Obviously I won't connect it yet to the laptop, but I want to switch it on to see what's going to happen. Oh, such a mess in this room, I can't believe it. So anyway, how are you guys doing? How life's treating you during the lockdown and uh, all the quarantine stuff? It's been crazy here because obviously I have my kids home and it's a hard I mean thanks to my wife she's keeping them really busy but poor kids uh, they they getting really frustrated now right should we switch it on yeah let's remove that baby and let's switch it on to see what's gonna happen Ooh, look at that. Beautiful. No cable connected. Of course there's no cable connected. So we have... Let me just go underneath and see what, what we have here. Right. DBA, we have HDMI, we have VGA we have in and out uh, sounds uh, what else we got we got two USBs right okay let's see if I can get my HDMI cable from my other monitor and see how this is gonna perform <laughs> I'm just here guys, don't bother me, I am here. Now what I'm planning to do is... I've recently moved from Mac to a Windows PC. Uh, I got I got myself a gaming PC because uh, my Mac it's died and uh, I can't afford at the moment buying another one so I had to look for solution and I'll make video about that because uh, after 10 years being on Mac moving on Windows it's a little bit kind of a challenge I'm happy with what I did so far but uh, still it's quite new for me uh, where is the HDMI? Right, let's see what we can get here. I think it's gonna come now. Come on. Okay. We got connection. And why is not finding it? Oh. Probably, probably I should have choose HDMI. There we go. Fantastic. There you go. Bank BL2420PT. Who's coming with these names? I don't know. It's a IPC QHD monitor. That's the one. So 100% sRGB, cut cam mod. It's quite a lot of uh, good, good, good uh, stuff about it. Uh, I'm gonna put it tomorrow on and I'm gonna bring another video with the performance for now because it's nearly one o'clock, I wanna go in bed. Uh, yes, so this is it. 200 pound challenge to find uh, 
photography and graphic design monitor factory calibrated perfect picture so far from what I can see in just the two minutes but I'm happy I'm gonna go and sleep now and tomorrow hopefully I won't be filming from the floor so I'll bring it on the desk and give it a little go and I'll see you soon because I have a few more videos for you coming uh, one it's about budget uh, continuous lighting to do a shooting in your home uh, very very affordable lights and um, I'll show you pictures made with them and obviously I go through the lights there's another uh, video which I'm planning to show you how to finally get rid of your stunts home if you're having or maybe if uh, you're shooting in a small space so you can freely walk and you can still use your lights and yeah a few more things coming on the way uh, until then stay safe and uh, keep creating guys because no matter what even if it's just for yourself just keep doing stuff uh, keep your mind busy things go things gonna go better I know that see you later bye bye